Hi, my name is Caitlin Lesk and I'm currently a Diamond Beachbody coach and I'm going to give a video, this video is going to be on some tips for getting some new coaches started. So um, right off the bat, in order to get new coaches started, you first have to get those new coaches. So some tips I have along those lines are to be sure when you're advertising in this business, um, whether it's on Facebook or when you're talking to people or however you may be getting the word out about the products and what we believe in so strongly about Beachbody, you don't want to just be advertising for customers. You also want to be showing people why it's so great to be a coach. Um, if you're in this business, we're, we're in it because we love it. Um, I don't know a single coach that doesn't love what they do. Um, so be proud of that. I mean, we have a lot to offer, whether somebody is looking for a stay-at-home type job or something to give them the flexibility to be with their kids more or they're looking to make some money on the side or they're really passionate about health and fitness and you know want something that they can do along those lines but also have the vehicle to make money from it um, or if you just are somebody that likes to help people that's why I got into it I love to help people um, I'm, I am very passionate about health and fitness and I love that it combined both and we have these great products to do it um, so there really is a lot to offer uh, with this opportunity. So don't be shy about advertising that too. Tell people what you're doing, why you love it so much, and that it's something that anybody can do if they have the interest in it. So that's the first thing. I think um, in order to get new coaches, it's important to not only share how great our products are, but also share how great this opportunity is. Um, once I have coaches, typically one of the first things I do <laughs> is warn them that it's a lot of hard work. I mean, it's not easy money. It takes time to build up the business and build up your customer base and have people know what you're doing and, and have people trust that you're going to stick with it and, you know, start to want to buy into it, whether, you know, they want to become customers and buy the products or whether they want to become coaches themselves. It really is a slow process from the start. It takes a long time and it takes a lot of effort. Um, one of my upline coaches, Scotty Hobbs, always talks about how in the beginning you work a lot for a little, but in the end you work a little for a, little for a lot. Um, and I think that's so important to remember is you don't want co coaches to get frustrated right off the bat just because it's taking them longer than they may expect. Um, oftentimes new coaches will see where you're at and not necessarily see the hard work it took to get there. So I think it's important to remind them of that and also create the long-term vision for them. Um, what would this opportunity afford them? Is it more time at home with their kids? Is it some extra money on the side? Is it just the fulfillment of being able to help people and doing something you love? So I think painting that vision for them and reminding of them of that when the times get tough and, and reminding them that there are low points where you know you may have a slow week or even a slow month, but usually that's a sign that it's about to pick back up again. So, you know, I think just a lot of reassurance and, and helping them stay in a positive mindset because it's, it's definitely challenging to do that. Um, but I think in the long run, it's not just a rewarding business, but you really do learn to, you know, roll with the ups and downs. And I definitely know that I'm a stronger person because of it. And I have a much stronger belief in what's possible for my life. And, and that's one of the things I love about the coaching opportunity. Um, I mean, some other quick notes. Uh, I think another thing to reinforce again in the in the frustrating points are to remind them that if this took three years or five years to get where they want to go, but it would give them all these things that they have in their vision, would it still be worth it? And I would be shocked if anybody didn't say yes to that question. Of course it would be worth it. Um, so it's, I think it's important to constantly remind them of that and, and help them be proud of every step they, they've made along the way. Um, then other than that, I would say my own personal strategies as a coach or, or I guess techniques as a, as a leader, um, I, don't, I don't like to push people. I don't want to overwhelm them. There's a lot in this business. Just trying to learn everything can be very overwhelming at first. Um, so I kind of let people come to me and I always try to make myself available um, to answer any questions anybody has. I'm always willing to work with anybody that needs my help, but I also try not to push people too much because at the end of the day, these are each of our coaching businesses. It's not your business, is not my business, so I'm not going to push you to do more than you're comfortable with. And so I think um, at the end of the day, it's all about you and what you want and what your goals are for this business, and I'm happy to help you get to any of those goals, um, but I'm certainly not going to push you 
too much to do something if it's if it's not what you want. You know, at the end of the day, we're each business owners. So um, who am I to tell you how to run your business? So so I try to just like I said, let people come to me with any questions they have. If they need my help, I'm always happy to give it. I try to be available to my downline coaches as much as I possibly can and get back to them as quickly as I can. So, um, and then my, I guess my last example would be just to set an example, you know, be the leader of the group by doing what, what you want for your business, you know, and, and being consistent and, and being active in the business. That's a good example for others. So, so I think leading by example is very important too. Um, and that's a great way for your coaches to learn from you is just to follow you and watch what you're doing and, and be able to emulate it in their own way. So those are my tips on, on how to get new coaches started and how to recruit new coaches. And as usual, if you have any more questions, feel free to message me or comment below and subscribe to my news feed or uh, subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'll be happy to answer any more questions you have.